Joining us now to discuss the crypto markets and more on Bitcoin is Jack McDonald, CEO of PolySign and Standard Custody Digital Asset Custody Providers for Institutional Investors and a former managing director of UBS's Institutional Equity Division. Welcome to show, Jack. So we're seeing Bitcoin within a very narrow trading range. The top question I get asked is, is this a buying opportunity? Well, I've certainly been buying, and uh, I do think it's a long-term uh, buying opportunity. Obviously, that question begs an answer around what your investment uh, philosophy is, what your time horizon is. But certainly, the holders and people who have a longer-term view around this emerging asset class have to view this as a buying opportunity. Mm -hmm. So do you have a short-term view of what is happening versus your end-of-year outlook on Bitcoin? I do. I think I think the market was clearly overheated uh, in the spring. There was a lot of leverage in the system. There had been a lot of momentum, a lot of positive news coming out around some corporates getting involved, some uh, big name hedge fund managers coming into the space and creating FOMO with the rest of the market. And so typically when markets get overheated like that, they're due for a pullback. And that's been uh, certainly playing itself out in this industry. I think uh, what you've seen is a lot of deleveraging uh, coming out of the market, you've seen, I think, uh, typical pullback in the Bitcoin market. We see this every year where you see these kind of drawdowns. And we also see it in more traditional markets, you know, the, the provisional um, uh, wisdom around sell in May and go away uh, that you see in the equity markets uh, may have something to bear here as well. And so I think this is a healthy uh, opportunity in the market. Uh, we've recently announced a, a Series B uh, partnership with Cowan the investment bank and working a lot together with their clients to understand what the level of interest mm -hmm. is right now with institutions coming into the space. And we're actually finding a very healthy attitude towards coming in with long term investment horizons and putting some money to work. And this opportunity where the markets are just kind of flat here gives a more thoughtful approach for institutions to come in. So. Right. So as a crypto custodian that you head, what, what are institutional investors up to? Are you seeing more sellers than holders and buyers right now, or is it the other way around? I think we're seeing um, right now, we're starting to see more. Um, I, I think there's been a lot of selling, obviously, in the market, which has driven the price down. But what we're seeing more than anything right now is institutions who are doing the work, who may have been investing around the periphery, it could be having invested in uh, some public companies, there aren't many uh, out there, obviously Coinbase, Galaxy, uh, to name really the two. Uh, but people who are doing the work right now on understanding what sort of opportunities exist with the underlying assets and very importantly, gravitating towards the institutional infrastructure players who are coming to market, who are regulated, who are insured, who understand the, the traditional ways that Wall Street works from an operational standpoint and getting comfortable with that. And so we're getting lots of questions around our infrastructure, around our regulatory status. We're regulated uh, by the New York Department of Financial Services and trying to understand um, mm -hmm. from an institutional standpoint how service providers like us fit into their current mix and how they can weave us into an investment right. process that they have. We often say that large investors putting coins on exchanges is a sign that there is more selling activity. Do you see more so-called whales putting coins onto exchanges or moving uh, their crypto in that direction? That's that's not a, a direct view that we have as we're not an exchange. Uh, and so we see it more on the uh, deposit side coming in and the transfer side coming out. So uh, I don't feel like I've got a, a, a informed enough view on that specific uh, aspect, but I think clearly yeah, you can see enough. the trends, you know, that are going on. Now, Jack, just one last question: you, you left UBS, which is Switzerland's largest bank and one of the top wealth managers in the world for crypto. Do you recommend that decision to those in traditional finance? I get lots of questions from my traditional finance friends, and I, I think traditional finance is starting to reinvent itself. Obviously, large institutions have to be very thoughtful; they have lots of considerations, so it takes time. Um, and and there are blessings and curses with, with large organizations. We are finding pockets of innovation with some of the larger uh, sell side firms. We're certainly seeing it on the buy side firms. I think that ultimately comes down to uh, personal preference if you want to walk, work for uh, smaller startups or entrepreneurial firms. Uh, there are challenges there as well. I certainly, from a personal standpoint, 
have found it incredibly rewarding. I'm learning a ton. I'm meeting some fascinating people. And I do think that there will be this nexus between uh, the traditional um, asset management and financial services industry and this new marketplace. So we're all going to meet again in the end, uh, but there are different paths to get there. And I certainly don't regret my choice at all. Mm -hmm.